Hey guys, uh, just wanted to come make a video on the garage real quick. <clears throat> uh, about 4 o'clock, so it's going to be getting dark here soon on the west coast. Since the time changed a couple days ago, it gets dark probably even before 5 o'clock, uh, 5 p.m. So, kind of hard to be getting out there nowadays, right about now. So, probably get out there on the weekend and make some more videos of the woods, but... <clears throat> Wanted to uh, say uh, sorry for not making any videos for a couple weeks. Been almost a month, I think. Three weeks to a month, something like that. But uh, I've been busy. Like I said, time changed. I went to Ohio, which is what I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, it's been pretty busy here in the last three or four weeks. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I went to uh, Ohio. Went to the... Pathfinder basic class at Dave Canterbury School. Um, not name dropping there, just I'm not trying to promote his school or anything, just telling you where I went. Um, so I just want to talk about a few things I learned, uh, what I think would benefit other people. Um, so when you go to this class, um, I don't want to say it's primitive. It, the, I went to the basic class, so it's not primitive. Um, you know. I mean, you can choose to sleep under a tarp if you want to, but um, you can take a tent, a hammock, uh, just a ground tarp if you want to. Um, but uh, um, you got to take some food, some snacks. Um, with that being said, I didn't eat nearly as much as I thought I would, um, so I brought a lot of extra food, I guess. So that added to what that added to my the weight of my stuff. Um, and I got a lot less sleep than I thought I was going to. Um, sometimes you're up because you're doing different projects that the school's having you do, and sometimes you're up just because you're so amped up from whatever you were doing that you can't fall asleep. <clears throat> so, um, but, um, so there's that. Um, things I learned, um, what I would do differently. I wouldn't take as much stuff. Um, I'm always of the thought that um, travel light anyways, um, but what I learned uh, from carrying my pack over four days is it's still pretty heavy, even though I thought it was light, when I go out to the woods I carry it for a couple hours or a day, um, it's not that bad, but carrying it four days and sleeping on the cold ground um, and getting a lot less sleep than I normally do, um, it started getting heavy by the end of the week, my back started hurting, my shoulders were hurting. Um, so yeah, so I'll definitely try and um, lessen my load a little bit, I guess you could say, lighten it. Um, so I learned that. Um, we learned um, day and night navigation with the compass, just basics, getting from a certain bearing point to another bearing point. Um, only bad thing about it was is um, get cut up by thorns and stuff like that, but hey, you're going to a wilderness survival class, so suck it up, I guess. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, it sucked as it was happening, but as soon as it was done, it was no big deal. Um, it's very fire intensive. Um, so if you do go, if you ever get a chance to go out, I would, I would suggest it. it. It's really fun. The instructors and Dave Kenbear are some of the nicest people you ever meet. Very humble. Um, not afraid to learn something from you, even though they're the instructors. If, if you can teach them something, they're willing to learn. Um, so that's cool. Um, they're all real cool people, all super nice. Um, what I will say is, you, you're gonna if you do go, you're gonna start probably 20 fires in three days, three or four days. I mean, at the drop of a hat, they might say, okay, I need a five minute fire right now. You know, using um, char cloth or, or uh, you know, a ferro rod. So if you do go, if you ever get a chance to go, just um, take as many fire starting materials and I guess techniques as you can. I took ferro rod lighter, flint and steel, um, I think that's it. But I mean you can use, you know, they'll show you, you can use duct tape, steel wool, um, stuff like that. So uh, a lot of multi-use objects. Um, which is what I like anyways. I like, you know, as many things as one thing can do, so I don't have to carry three or four different things. If one thing can do it, why carry three or four? Just make your bag heavier. <clears throat> um, 
So, I mean, there's that. Uh, the big, um, well, I guess what they say is the big um, test is if you can um, get a shelter uh, built, a fire built, and boil 32 ounces of water in 15 minutes. I've been to get mine in like 7 minutes and 30 seconds or 7 minutes and 32 seconds, something like that. Um, it wasn't the fastest time, it was the third fastest time though. Um, the fastest time was like, I think it was like 5 minutes and 3 seconds, a guy just, I mean, just blew through it. I mean, it was just pretty impressive because uh, if you've ever boiled water on your stove, you know, it probably takes more than 5 minutes, you know. Um, or whatever, but anyway, so yeah, built the fire, uh, got the water boiling, and set up a shelter, just a simple lean-to shelter, uh, uh, in 15 minutes is your, is your is your goal during the class. Um, I would say the hardest thing for us was, for me anyways, I'm sorry, the, the navigation, because I didn't know beforehand how to use a compass um, and, and stuff like that, so. But once I got the hang of it, it wasn't too bad. Um, but it was pretty fun. I mean, it was cool learning. That that was one of the things I wanted. I was really, um, you know, interested in learning. Um, for me, I think that if something's a weakness, try and make it a strength. So the compass and navigation was my was one of my weaknesses. Well, I wanted to make that a, a strength. And I'm not saying it's a strength now because I just learned the basics. But but now I know a lot more than I did. Um, the uh, the fire the fire stuff was pretty easy for me. I'm kind of weird to say this, but I'm pretty good at starting fires. I can start multiple ways. I, I practice that all the time. If you've seen any of my past videos, you've seen me do a ferro rod. You've seen me do it um, magnifying glass. I don't think I put that video out yet. I'll get one out there. But that one's pretty easy. Um, you see me do it with a ferro rod. Um, and surprisingly, Gorilla Brand duct tape. I'm not sure if it's all duct tape. Duct tape, but Gorilla Brand duct tape. Duct tape. If you light it with a lighter uh, and ball up a ball like you know, I don't know, maybe like a little bit more than a golf ball. That stuff will burn for like eight minutes, and you can get your your marginal tender or little kindling started to start drying out some other stuff, or just get a big roaring fire going to begin with. Um, so like like I said, um, main things are that I learned were very fire intensive. Learned a lot about fire. Um, Core, your core temperature, body, you know, regulating your core temperature. That's the number one thing. Um, you know, they they preach a lot about the rules of threes. You know, three minutes without air, three minutes without fire shelter, three days without water, three weeks without food. Well, you're dead in any of those uh, situations. Um, so they 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 preach a lot about you know regulating your your body's core temperature, um, and that's where the the boiling of the water in the 15 and, and build the shelter in the 15 minutes comes into. If you can get those things done in 15 minutes, you got a pretty good chance of living. Um, especially if you flip your canoe or you're, you know, walking, you know, on ice or, or anything like that, you know. A lot of people think that has to be, you know, snowing and stuff like that to get hypothermia. Uh, when the real case is, is, you know, hypothermia, you know, um, really sets in or can set in, I should say, at even 50 degrees, you know, 50, 40 degrees it, it could set in. So, um, but like I said, I just wanted to go over a, a quick little overview of what I did, where I've been, what I, what I what kind of training I went through. Um, so, if you ever decide to go, give it a shot, you know, um, it's a good school. Like I said, all the instructors are super nice, super humble. Um, you know, they might jab you here or there, give you a little, give you a little crap, you know, just to tease you a little bit, but it's all in good nature. And they can take it just as well as they can dish it out, you know. None of them are going to get um, their feelings hurt, you know, if you're saying, you know, um, stuff like, you know, just teasing them back and forth. But, um, like I said, I just want to go over what I learned, what I've been doing, why it took me so long to get another video. Just have a little chat in the garage here. So, um, appreciate your views. I, I'm glad you watching. Um, got any comments, questions, let me know. And I'm going to try and hit up some more uh, videos this weekend. Thanks.